All right, you guys, let's break this down really quick right here. One thing when you're using anything with baking soda in it, you have to be sure to get it all up because it will leave white streaks in your oven even after you think that you have gotten it all up. Second thing here, I would skip this step. I wanted to try this. I had seen this in a video. They use glass, of course, but they um, it had millions and millions of views. Skip this step of putting it in your oven. I get the idea behind it. If you're cleaning your microwave or your dishwasher, a lot of times you'll um, use glass. I didn't have any glass on hand and you'll put it in here and heat it up. The heat was nice. You're gonna need to let your oven cool a little bit before you go in and start cleaning it, but I do think the heat helped lift things. Now, you may have watched several videos on the internet about how to clean your oven naturally, and many of them, they don't actually show you the elbow grease involved. I think it's very misleading. I was misled. Like, you go in there with your vinegar and your baking soda. I added the lemon because it's just a nice scent and it's got citric acid, which also helps break down food particles and grime such as this. That's just my chewy right there, but a lot of times they don't actually show you what went into it. I have a pillow right here, and you guys, I should not have worn a sweater. Like, I was sweating. I have cleaned my oven so many different ways, and the self-clean option doesn't really clean it, in my personal opinion. You need to put some elbow grease into it. I know a lot of these videos make it look like it just, like, wiped away, but that has never been my experience when it comes to cleaning your oven with natural products. These right here are the game changer. These steel wool quad four professional glass cleaners will use this. I'll link a video in the description box below where I use this on, um, I totally revamped basically my shower nozzle that had a ton, years and years of hard water stains on it. So I'll link that below and these as well. I was gonna use the grout brush, but I was a little concerned it might be too rough, so I'd use a scotch Bright. This was nice to break up the initial chunks and dirt that were left on the stove right here. This is just filled with vinegar right here, and I thought it was nice to spray it down again, trying to lift some of that baking soda or any of that baking soda that might get stuck in there, and then using this to go in to see whatever I could get off, then going in with my sponge. You can see here my sponge is no longer white, and then using these as a last resort. Now you can see, like you can get totally crazy about this right here. You can see there are several spots back there, um, several spots still in here, but right now for me, this is good enough. This in total here probably took me, I don't know, like an hour and a half so far, and that's not including um, the cooking time to heat up the oven. Now you don't need to heat it up for 45 minutes like I had done. Again, I'd seen that in a previous video and I wanted to try it out. I would say just get the oven a little bit warm. 100 degrees is fine. Make sure it's cool enough before you actually go in there again to help lift that grease and grime. But I'm pleased with this. I may go back here in another day. Like my time is up when it comes to cleaning my oven at this point. Um, now, if you're looking for additional ideas about how to clean your oven racks, again, I have tried several ways to do this. I will link some of the best methods in the description box below and your gas stovetop grates. I think these have never been cleaned before we bought this house two years ago and this year's house is several years old and I have gone through so many trials with cleaning these grates right here and they are looking better and better and better so I will link those as well. All right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I will see you my friend in the next one.